Local Minute, sponsored by Avera. Well, suicide is the 11th leading cause of death in the United States. In South Dakota in 2021, the state had a record high of 203 people who died by suicide. While those numbers trended down slightly, every life matters. In this Avera Medical Minute, Sarah McDonald talks to a woman who's sharing her family's story and how they were impacted by suicide. Jamie Loban will admit her and her dad, Bill, may have butted heads when she was younger, but that's changed as she's gotten older. We're a lot alike, and I think in my teenage years, I didn't want to admit that. So I think in adulthood, we've come a lot closer. That's why when her dad attempted suicide in 2019, it shook their whole family. I think it was probably a couple months prior to his attempt. Um, he stopped sleeping. Um, and my mom noticed that, but she kind of kept it quiet and tried to help him through it, um, give him his privacy, stuff like that. But as time went on, concerns continued to grow. As a resource nurse at Avera Behavioral Health, Jamie recognized her dad needed help. And I remember, I mean, he wouldn't even make eye contact. He just looked at the floor, super slow. I talked to him and it's like he couldn't even like register that I was, you know, talking to him. And I remember saying if we brought him into assessment right now, they'd admit him. And he was very against it, um, didn't want to do that. And so because he, he, I think he had just seen his primary care that day, and they said, you know, let's switch the sleep meds. So I agreed with him, uh, if you can get through the weekend, if things aren't better by Monday, I'm bringing you in. But just two days later, her dad attempted suicide. My mom is a substitute teacher, so she was away. And he was sending her odd texts, very much like, I'm not a part of this world. He doesn't remember intentionally dialing the phone, but his phone dialed out um, to a family friend, actually, as he was doing the attempt. And he said, I've slipped my wrists. Her mom rushed home and emergency services arrived. He was taken to the ICU for a few days before going to Avera Behavioral Health for a week. I won't say one week was the fix because um, it was a really long journey for him, but at least he got the resources in place. Jamie credits resources offered there and in the community, plus support from family, have helped her dad recover. In the last year or two, um, he's been really well and felt a really strong calling. I gotta share this to reduce the shame that's attached to it, especially in the church, um, and that he mentors young men now. It's important to take the warning signs seriously and even taking that a step further by asking, are you thinking about suicide? The easiest way to do this is to do it in a direct but very caring manner and saying, you know, have you been having thoughts or have you had thoughts of ending your life or of suicide? Some people think that by asking the question that they're almost like implanting the thought of suicide, but honestly, that's quite the contrary and that most people feel relief being asked this question. Um, for them, it actually could be the first sign of hope. There are res the resources out there. You're not alone. I know a lot of people feel like that shame and that isolation and the depths of their illness, um, but you're not alone and there are resources out there to help. With your Vera Medical Minute, I'm Sarah McDonald. If you or a loved one are having thoughts of suicide, you can call the Suicide and Crisis Hotline at 988. For more resources, head over to avera.org slash medical minute. Stay with us. We'll be right back.